He was drafted by the Buffalo Sabres. The only problem with that was he didn't exist. The selection of fake Japanese hockey player Taro Tuzimoto became one of the many pranks thought of by late Buffalo Sabres director of public relations, Paul Whelan. Aside from being the organization's comic relief, Whelan played a major role in the Sabres' early years, including using his experience as a practice goaltender to expose the Sabres' first playoff opponent in 1973, according to team game producer Joe Pinter. And we were playing the Canadians, and Ken Dryden was their goalie, and Paul being an old goalie himself, he snuck in, measured the pads, and knew that they were too big. Jerry Helper, who succeeded Wheeland as Sabres Director of Public Relations, said he was a creative genius and had the ability to see the potential in others. What, what I noticed about Paul is how brilliant he is from a creativity point of view. He always had the ability to kind of see a little bit ahead. One of those things Paul saw was the potential success of a young play-by-play -play announcer named Rick Jennerette. On a brief phone call, the Hockey Hall of Fame commentator said Paul had the wildest sense of humor I've ever seen and the most fertile imagination more than anyone I have ever met. Gags like Tarl Tuzimoto busting the Montreal Canadiens and taking part in naming the Sabres signature Goathead jersey, Paul Whelan's legacy with the Buffalo Sabres will live on forever and will continue as the team makes a playoff push for April. I'm Louis Genovese. <laughs> Top shelf for Mama Heights, the cookies, SBU TV.